Welcome to your favourite day of the week everyone where it's our favourite time of year again. We're leading up until Christmas every single day. We're going for a strange, funny and just downright bizarre story which has happened in history. Yesterday we went through the bravest soldier of World War 1 and today we're going to a bakery, but not for bread, to get brutally massacred. So let's see what's behind door number 16. I don't know why I'm smiling at that, I just am. Rites de Almedia so in the aftermath of a medieval battle, soldiers are usually chased down by the victorious army in an attempt to capture them for a juicy ransom, or just to stick a sword through their head because they didn't really like them. One such absolutely strange story comes in 1305 in the aftermath of the Battle of Algebrota between the armies of Castile, or modern day Spain, and the Portuguese, where legend tells us the fleeing Castilian soldiers were dispatched by a woman with six fingers on each hand. Al Gibraltar saw a heavily outnumbered Portuguese force take up a defended hillside position against a Castilian force bolstered with heavy French cavalry. However, as was customary for French knights at the time, they charged in without thinking about anything else because they thought their egos and shiny armour could win the day and they went in without any Castilian infantry support. The French were of course captured or killed and the Castilian force was held until sunset by the superior Portuguese position before their royal standard bearer fell and they started to rout fearing their king who was leading the battle had died. Around 5,000 Castilians had been killed or injured in the battle, however the Portuguese were out for blood, chasing them down the hill and a further 5,000 Castilians were killed by the routers as well as the inhabitants of the nearby town. Our six finger lady now comes into play, a woman named Brites de Almedia, described as burly and ugly ran a bakery in the nearby town with her bread, supposedly the best in all the land. Brites has gone out to find some Castilian stragglers to kill upon news of Portuguese victory. However, when she returned home, suspicion was aroused as her door was now closed. The Castilians had seemingly heard about the best bread in town as they hid in her baker's oven. She found six men who didn't respond to her request to leave or surrender, so she did what any normal person did and brutally murdered them with her six finger hands and then cooked them all along with her amazing bread. No wonder it was the best in town. How true the story is though is up for debate, but Brites de Almada has become an iconic legend in the symbol of Portuguese independence, even appearing on a postage stamp in 1927. So I've been Jamie's Day, your favourite day of the week, and this was the tale of the Six Finger Baker. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and I hope you've all enjoyed, and join us all tomorrow, where I have absolutely no idea what we're doing, because I'm not smart enough to plan that far ahead, but I think we're going through 16th century UFO sightings. It might, like, there's probably that. So join us tomorrow for that, and I'll see you later. Peace.